So in my family, we are huge fans of this uh, TV show, uh, The Great Canadian Baking Show. I don't know if folks are watching this. It's a really wonderful reality TV show. Uh, my family were generally big fans of Dan Levy uh, and Eugene Levy uh, from back in the day. Dan Levy, of course, a very prominent LGBTQ plus activist that many Canadian students are uh, well aware of. And so uh, I got to thinking about uh, that show, The Great Canadian Baking Show, and we were watching it, my kids were watching it, and it reminded me of a project that I had when I was in seventh grade, when my seventh grade biology teacher asked me to bake a cell cake. Now, if you Google image search on cell cake, you will find that there are in fact many. So here I'm showing you that it's easy with OBS to switch between your camera and what I'm showing you now is my Firefox browser. You can see many of these images. So I thought, well, wouldn't it be cool if we could have some sort of baking project in Biology 201? And so with that, I decided to launch what's called, excuse me, the um, great Biology 201 baking show. I made a little logo. I contacted David Harp at the Tomlinson Project. I said, can I hire some team undergrads to participate? in this show and uh, David was very generous. He let me hire uh, six team undergrads to participate in the show. These are undergrads that I am compensating now to bake exciting projects uh, for the class. So the class has um, the Great Biology Baking, the Great uh, Canadian Baking Show. Each episode has three parts, a so-called signature bake, a technical challenge and a showstopper. And it turns out that my class was also divided into three parts part one in the midterm, part two in a midterm, part three, and then the final. So I'll tell you a little bit about the first part. For the first part of the class, we had our signature bake and we decided to make protein cookies. These were gonna be some sort of confection that was a cookie that looked like a protein. So I'll show you a little bit of what the undergrads have so far produced. So for example, in one of my lectures, I'm talking about the citric acid cycle. I'm talking about how enzymes in the citric acid cycle will form into uh, a complex. Uh, a super um, metabolic complex. And uh, Gemma, one of the undergrads, made citrus acid cycle sugar cookies. These are like a lime sugar cookie or something like this with a, uh, a citrus flavored icing. Uh, she even went so far as to make this very adorable stop motion video of her cookies coming together. So here I'm showing you how with OBS you can switch easily between showing your PowerPoint slides and showing a full screen movie there. Now we have our uh, metabolic uh, complex. So um, I also, for example, talk about ATP synthase. This is the molecule inside of mitochondria that's responsible for producing ATP, the main energy currency inside cells. So uh, the team undergrad, uh, Cameron Capalazzo, put together these uh, ATP synthase uh, sugar cookies that you can see. She even went so far as to make one uh, that is three-dimensional. That's like a three-dimensional cookie representation of ATP synthase. So of course, I also had to participate in the project because it's not fun if the prof doesn't do it. So here's what I baked. I made these Rice Krispie treats that I was trying to make look like kinases, like protein kinases. So they, um, they have a sort of reactive site cleft and then I was trying to represent the electrostatic surface charges with red, but then I, I was, the other color is supposed to be blue, um, but the sparkles on Monkland Avenue was out of blue candy wafers. And so I had to use uh, lavender instead. So this is a Rice Krispie Treat um, kinase. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. I posted about the project to um, last year's My Courses page. And actually I've already received student submissions from from students who took the course last year. So in addition to the six submissions that are coming from the team bakers, the six that are coming from, the, the one that's coming from me, every student in the course is encouraged to participate. We've received a bunch of uh, baking submissions already from students, some of which are very impressive. Um, my first midterm rolls out uh, today. And so uh, the idea is that after the midterm, they do some post-exam stress baking.